Welcome dear Aquarius, thank you for watching my channel, my name is Levi and I'm going to do tarot reading for you. This is a weekly reading, so take what it resonates and if something doesn't resonate then uh, just let it go. So with that, let's get to it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the, right, um, the like button below and subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's see what we have in here. Okay, so there are a lot of movements, there are a lot of communication, loads of things happening in you. You have invested a lot of time, energy, money into something, then it wait you, and then now you're waiting for fruition. Well, you know, investments are funny because they are not really, they're not turning out the way we want them always, and uh, they're not bringing reward at the right time. So the difference between having a steady job and investing uh, into something or being um, um, uh, like um, a freelance worker is that one is a steady paycheck, another one is um, sometimes you get money later than you expected, sometimes you get paid uh, weeks or months later or sometimes you get paid at the end of the the assignment which is which could be really annoying so so don't get disheartened by the lack of reward so certain things you were expected uh, expecting to happen and they haven't happened the same way and that put you in some sort of uh, limbo that is possible so you you have to juggle with your with your finances or energy money time so you were promised uh, it's not necessarily uh, money only because uh, everything that is material, uh, mat material like the talent, effort, energy. So maybe somebody pro promised you that, you know, from next month, you're going to have more time um, for yourself or for your studies. For, and, and it didn't, uh, um, didn't materialize. So now, again, you have to juggle with everything in life, trying to find balance. There is a lot of duality um, in your card, the finding the balance, the finding that the juggle. Look at this. You have a two of cups, which is teamwork, connection. You have here the two of swords, which is um, um, indecision, uh, being in the dark, not being able to make the right choice um, because you don't have the right knowledge, the, the right understanding, and the two of cups. So out of uh, the four suite, you have you have three. Uh, cards which is they are all number twos so it's really important uh, in this week for you that finding the way and finding the balance with, between uh, what's outside inside what's up and down what cold warm uh, black white um, so this making making the the, the very strong um, um, sort of distinguish between between what you want what you don't want, what you like, what you dislike, what what serving you, what no longer serves you. So it's like like this is gonna be a, in, an interesting week where you might not be sure about where you wanna go and how you wanna be, but you have to follow your instinct, you have to follow your gut because your eyes are covered and you sometimes you don't know the answer so you don't know the answer you have to make decision and uh, you like making decision based on logic and understanding and intelligence and the cards are saying now well now you are in the dark so i'm sorry you can't see anything it's been is you are blindfolded and uh, still have to make a decision so if you can't see if you can't make a logical decision then how are you gonna get from a to b well there, is, there are two options. One, follow your intuition, okay? Um, your heart should tell you what uh, direction you have, you, you better take. And the second option is here, is partnership. So ask for help, okay? Ask others who can help you, who are uh, um, around you, your friend, family, or even professional. If you have, if you need professional advice about something, don't just let go with your with your own uh, um, 
own uh, thoughts. Why? Because as much as you feel really comfortable and you feel really solid in the position where you are and you are ready to start something new to, to put your coin into uh, a ready uh, soil and uh, then you just wait for, for the harvest, the devil is here, okay? That when the devil show itself is a good sign, that means he's, he's not hiding anymore, it's right here for you. <coughs> so, so don't think that you know everything best. Don't think that um, um, you don't need advice or everything is perfect. And look at this, there is another duality here, the another two person, uh, a, a male and a female or a masculine and feminine in here. So this is the four, fourth card with that. So this is very, very significant showing that in your relationship, ships, in your connections, maybe your love life, maybe your, make sure that you are doing everything you can do, trust yourself, and don't let things go down to a way that you won't be too happy to deal with it later on in life, okay? Don't let things go too far, okay? Don't, don't, um, um, don't spend your money and think that everything gonna be all right because it might take such a long time you get to get back to where, where, um, where you were, okay? So confidence is good. Comfort is good, but overconfidence and being too comfortable, it's not, okay? So, there will be a lot of good news, there will be a lot of movement around you, there will be a lot of communication, things are coming in, and, um, and as majority will be good communication, but they still can make you tired, it can st still make you, like, cause you headache and you know you have to like juggle, juggle, uh, juggle all those things and um, um, but be creative okay this card is also also represent creativity so find a way how to how to make things better so just like like switch things up if necessary like mix things up uh, if necessary okay um, if you have an option to go and, and um, have some fun, celebrate, you know, meet up your friends, then feel free, feel free to go. Um, work is not everything, okay? Work, struggle, studying, uh, whatever is not everything. Go out, have some fun, enjoy yourself, find like-minded people um, because it's important. And if you do things right, then, then the universe will, will uh, grant you something special, okay? You have have here the wheel of fortune so if you if you don't let the devil which is up here influence you and make you believe that you know best you don't need anybody you don't need anything you just you just have uh, this uh, unique talent that you are fine alone and you don't need support and and uh, nobody can help you anyway and blah 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 then I have a bad news for you that the Wheel of Fortune will not be in your favor. However, if you accept the fact that uh, uh, you are doing things for the benefit of, for, of others and you are doing things for your well-being as well as others' well-being, you're doing things for your family, your friends' well-being, uh, you want to expand your, your, uh, your comfort zone towards other people and include other people, then the devil will not be that effective because you, if you are alone, the devil comes down on your shoulder and just keep telling you nonsense. He's just gonna talk nonsense. Yes, you are not good enough. You are not small enough. You are not smart enough. You are not tall enough. You are not uh, whatever. You are enough. Uh, and if there is nobody else to tell you otherwise, then you might just believe. And then what's the wheel of fortune going to give you? gonna give you a reduced of of the offer what um, what was on the table originally because well if you don't believe in yourself then why would why would anybody give you more chance more opportunities better positions promotions more money more love more caring why you don't need it because you said well I trust the little uh, devil on my shoulder um, you have to work on your or your yourself and in your idea a little longer. 
So you might have something, a talent, something you wanna you wanna bring out into the into the the known uh, and make it visible, make it uh, like manifested. But that has to go through a longer, a bit of a longer process, right? It might not happen straight away. We have here the Empress that the, uh, she's pregnant with the idea already. It's there, but it takes time. It takes time. So keep developing, keep keep growing, keep building that idea. Don't let anyone or anything judge you. Don't let anybody hurt you, and don't let anyone tell you that you are not good or that idea is not good. It's good. Okay, so if somebody don't want to hear about it, just say, okay, fine, no problem. I stay, I stay, uh, I keep that idea with myself and I find somebody who will appreciate that idea, um, a different place, different company, a different person. I will bring it, uh, I will bring it there. And if you hold on to that, then I have good news for you because you have the king of coins and king of pentacles and, uh, and then um, nine of pentacles here that is major success both this is stability that is um, um, very strong foundation it's a lot of harvest uh, can happen look there's so much grapes everywhere so much so many coins there's huge coins and small coins and and it's you're gonna reach a financial place where you always wanted to be if you do things in the right way Okay. So there are a lot of pentacles in your reading. That means um, <coughs> your, your um, material side of everything will develop, will grow, and, um, and nothing can stop you. Only you yourself can stop yourself. The devil is here. Okay? And the devil is in details. So when it comes to like paperwork and whatever things needs to be done, make sure you read every little sentences and the, and the small print because the devil is in the details so when things comes in and there is a lot of material um, aspects in the reading and the devil comes up as a don't be too greedy don't believe everything that uh, they tell you so make sure that you spend time energy uh, if necessary money it's not a financial advice but be be clever be smart street smart if necessary don't let anyone fool you this is what's important in here okay don't let anyone fool you uh, and make you go into something without you spending time energy if necessary money ask for advice ask for the right people ask for professional advice if necessary before you make decisions that it's so difficult to to reverse after that okay so dear aquarius thank you very much so this is for next week and let's see um the sacred destiny oracle cards have something to say to you as well and let's see what's the news for you right okay so this is a new beginning very good and then we have thriving, yes, keep going, keep going, don't give up. And abundance, again, again, again. There is so much abundance coming towards you. But you can only step on that journey if you, if you are very vigilant. Because this is going to be a new beginning and keep going with the thriving and abundance is inevitable. There are so many, they are right here. This card signifies abundance. This is nothing better can can describe um, what I talked about, um, right? So, and three more cards from here. Manifestation, like what what else we need? Compassion and intuition. Follow your intuition. And again, as I said, with the devil here, don't think you know everything. Be compassion towards other people, be, be compassion to yourself. And manifestation, again, something is really, really paying off. Your hard work will pay off, so keep, keep yourself in the right position to be ready to receive um, all that abundance that the universe is going to give to you, okay? But don't get overwhelmed, don't let... <coughs> uh don't let the devil fool you okay and then let's see what's your relationship what's your 
romantically what the cars are saying. You might meet someone who you have relationship in past life. That's very good. And then, yes, you are lovable. You deserve love. So you don't need to focus on work only and solely because things are um, going to be better. And this is honeymoon. So if you meet anyone, anyone comes into your life um, next week, you might feel uh, close to, it might be somebody from a past life. You deserve love, so be open and enjoy. Okay, the honeymoon is, is the best time of, of uh, meant to be the best time of our life together, the beginning of a new a new chapter, like uh, creating a foundation for something something good. So manifestation, compassion, intuition, um, with thriving and the new beginning and abundance. With that, it's so many good things coming to your way. Dear Aquarius, don't focus on the negative things, please. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe. And I will see you in the next reading. Thank you very much.